Hi, my name is James Libby. I'm a theater and music teacher at the International School of Luxembourg. I'm also a, a, a choir director in Luxembourg. And I was asked to participate in the Eden Project. And it's really cool because um, it's the start of something new for, for us here in Luxembourg. Um, it's a collaboration with the International School where I work and El Sistema Luxembourg, which is a wonderful project. And today we brought people, two choirs from our school, from uh, grade four, so nine, ten year olds, and the choir I work with, uh, teenagers, and 15 kids that are refugees in Luxembourg. And uh, we put them all together. And when we arrived, we, everyone cut out a, uh, their hand and put five things that, about themselves, put their name, and we put it, and we made a tree. And the next thing we, everyone got to do was put a sticker on, on the place where they come from in the world. And we have people from every continent here, which is fascinating. So the idea of bringing together people from multiple backgrounds and the diversity, and we're stronger because of that. And um, through music, we can, we can accomplish something bigger than us. So the idea of seeds of hope is a great metaphor for the kids and being hopeful for the world. started as strangers and ended as friends and had fun along the way and uh, accomplished a lot musically and socially. And I know that the people, especially the people um, who are refugees, uh, I know it was a big stretch for them because of the, for them to be in the choir, but they, because they've never done that before and to be involved with kids that are really privileged. So I went and re really privileged people, working with some people that are not so, putting together and really uh, realizing that they are really one and the hope for the future. Why should I die? Why? Why? No air supply. No air supply. Why? In the rehearsal process, we um, explored the idea of storytelling, and I really encourage the kids to really understand what the meaning of the song is, and getting to think about the lyrics. And 
they have five days until the concert comes along, but they, I think it's not about just the, the concert, but the message that they give to the audience. If they understand, internalize the story and become storytellers through song and imagine, use imagery and imagine what happens when they sing the song to the audience and this idea of, of, of passing the message on to the audience. And if they believe it themselves, then the audience will believe it. And then the seeds go further and the hope is bigger than any one person and it's bigger than this choir because we're now a choir but what the adults do and that's the message say eden project now what is eden where is that my question to you is so we have to think about where eden is and why why is this project called eden project yeah so some of you might. Now my question to you is, what do you think? These are just don't just just wait. Wait, this is the big reveal here. Look at this. Just take a look. Look. What do you think these are? Seeds. Okay. Correct. Go like this. Say seeds. Seeds. What's the title of our song? Seeds of hope. Seeds of hope. Now, there are some seeds. Now. This is, this, is the, this is the thing about all this. What kind of seeds do you think these are? Who knows? Who, what, do you, what do you think? Seeds from trees because you... Seeds from trees? Okay, that's a good guess because trees have seeds. Radish seeds. Radish seeds? Did you hear ra the word radish today? Yeah, you said it. I said it a few times, right? How about radish seeds? Watch this. That's 500. They better be there. Look, in here. Each one of those is a little seed. So that's how many? Count them. One, two, they're small. Three. How many is that? Six plus six plus six plus six. A lot, right? 24. How many do you think? Like 100. 24 million. So, I was thinking, can people be like seeds? Can people be hopeful? Yes. Yeah. And then we sing a concert for everybody. We change the world. Seeds of hope. You're the hope. You're the seeds. And before you go today, what seed are you going to get to take home? Radish. Radish.